Hello everyone, this is going to be an updated tutorial on how to download maps and mods on Minecraft for the Xbox. Now, first things first, you guys are going to want to quit out of Minecraft, make sure it's not in the background. And you're going to want to have a couple of apps downloaded. You're going to want to have File Downloader, download it, which is going to be located in the Microsoft Store. You can search for it, it will be free. Now, this tutorial is updated as it does include the new Microsoft Edge which does add a few steps so this tutorial is for you guys and you're also going to need my file explorer which does cost money it can be a dollar or two or you can use a trial that it does have i recommend buying it personally because you can use it over and over again without worrying about the trial running out now first things first you guys want to go to microsoft edge you want to get the file of the world or mod like this that you can hover over the download for press the three lines and hit the copy link once you do that you can exit out of microsoft edge go to file downloader now file downloader does take a little bit to load so let it load once loaded go to the top left and hit the three lines and go to from web page go over this box press the three lines to paste click back in hit the three lines again to get rid of the keyboard press b and hit ok now i will have a existing file of this so if it asks i already have this i'm going to overwrite it with ok but you guys will not see that if that is the first time you guys doing this go to the top left and go to storage go to local storage and you will see your file right here Click the box next to it, go to the three lines, and hit copy to. Once you hit copy to, it will bring up this box. You guys want to go to this clock on the left side and back to the console. And you guys will see all these files. Go to download. As you guys can see, I already have a few copies of this world because I had to make this video a couple times. So it's easy for you guys to understand. I'm going to rename this something so you guys can see. Now hit save once you do that you can exit out of file downloader now out of file downloader you want to go to my file explorer now this is the app that did cost money i really like the layout of it and i highly suggest you guys buy it now you guys want to go to download and you guys will see somewhere right here the file three lines on it now it is very important when you guys rename this you guys need to rename it dot zip so have a dot and a zip at the very end of the file it doesn't matter what's in front of it just as long as it ends in a dot zip and you know what the file is once you do press start and you will get it renamed so you can click off and click back on or hit the three lines button again and now you want to extract this file now if the world's bigger it will take longer to extract now once extracted you'll get this hover over it and hit the three lines and hit copy folder once you hit copy go back to this device on the left go to isolated storage at the top you'll see all these things just hit packages now you are looking for microsoft.minecraft it'll look like look like this microsoft.minecraft t or microsoft or minecraft and it'll end in w or UWPC console. Now, right here, look at. Go to local state. Go to games. Combat motion. Microsoft Worlds. And this right here is the old uh, file I have. But find free space. Hit the three lines button. And hit paste. It will begin the pasting the world. Now, once you have it pasted. You can exit out of My File Explorer and go ahead and load up Minecraft. Now, I will load this up in real time so you guys can see that it works. Now, it may take a few seconds for it to load because I am using the Xbox One X and it does take, you know, time to load. It, like, again, I'll let you guys know if there's an easier tutorial on how to do this. 
I know this is a little bit more tedious compared to the old method. If you have the original Microsoft Edge, you can probably find a video on YouTube that teaches you how to do that. The reason why this is longer because the downloading process they removed from the original Microsoft Edge, or the new one, and you have to have the download file so you can actually download the file. Now I am running my, uh, Minecraft 1.17, so this does include the uh, cave and cliffs. If they uh, change anything or patch this, I'll let you guys know. But I uh, seriously doubt they'll patch this anytime soon. So I just gotta wait for this to load, which does take forever. Now syncing data. It does take forever to load. That is the power of a hard drive. It's really slow. Okay, it's loading resources packs. You guys can also probably do this for resource packs as well. But instead of pasting it in the Minecraft worlds folder, you guys will make a resource pack folder. And for mods, you'll make a um, behavior pack folder and you guys can paste things into those. Right now, it's just loading resources. Now, once done with this, you want to go to play Minecraft. Once in here, you guys will see the worlds that I have downloaded right here. Now, I will click on the world and ensure that it loads up perfectly fine. Now, do note that Java files will not work on this, and as well as different versions may cause problems when doing this. As well as bigger files may take a lot longer to load and transfer. So I will let this load. Okay, now it's starting to build train and we should be in in a few seconds. Just like that, that's how you download a Minecraft map or mods on Xbox. As you guys can see right now, I am currently in the world, and it's just like that. If you guys need anything else, let me know, and if you like the video and want more like this, like and subscribe. Peace.